How's it going? I'm Waterfields 1, August the 1st, 2024. Put it in your diaries because that is the day that Star Wars Bounty Hunter, the remastered version, launches on the PlayStation 5. Yes, the 2002 PS2 classic shooter is coming to current gen consoles with enhanced graphics and dual sense functionality, and that is all I need. As mentioned, the game launched in 2002 on the PlayStation 2 and of course the Nintendo GameCube. The review scores at the time were pretty mediocre. It had sixes and sevens across the board, apart from IGN, who never received a backhander. They, they never received backhanders, am I right? But for some reason, IGN scored at 8.2 on the PlayStation 2 and 8.3 on the Nintendo GameCube, whereas everyone else scored it six and seven. So who are you going to trust? Everybody else or IGN? I'll, I'll leave that one up to you. Anyway, this game does hold a special place. If you're a Star Wars fan, it's always going to hold a special place. And I am a Star Wars fan, so I'm actually quite pumped about this remaster of Star Wars Bounty Hunter. I think it's going to deliver. The, the game was criticised for being quite repetitive, and I, I do remember having that overbearing feeling when I originally played the game, but I'm ready to revisit it. I'm ready to play it on current gen consoles and hopefully if it follows the trend of all the other remasters we've had over the last, what, five, six years, it's gonna have a trophy list with a lovely platinum trophy. So there it is, Star Wars Bounty Hunter launching on August the 1st, 2024 on PlayStation 5. What are your thoughts? Is this a valid remaster? I think it's one of the few out there where, yeah, I, I'm, I'm game for this. I think it deserves a remaster. It did have somewhat of a remaster slash, well, port in 2019 onto the PlayStation 4, but it was the exact same game. This one graphically has been improved, and that's the main thing you want to see from PlayStation 2 games. So, so fingers crossed, it delivers where I hope it will. It's like all PS2 games, to be honest. If you, never, if you didn't play it at the time or you've not played a lot of PS2 games, then lower your expectations for what it's going to deliver in comparison to current gen games, because you can't compare them. You can't compare current gen to 2002 gen. That's ridiculous. But yeah, as always, if you're new around here, please do subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and let me know if you're going to be buying this in that comment section below. Enjoy your week. Enjoy your gaming. I'm Waterfields1. See you later.